climate change is an existential threat to our environment. Modeling allows us to recreate this multifaceted phenomena using computers to approximate reality. It also gives us the possibility of experimenting, for instance, modifying human-induced greenhouse gas emissions without actually using the Earth as a laboratory. A climate model is a complex computer code that creates a digital analogue of Earth. This model mimics the processes and interactions between parts of Earth's climate system. The atmosphere, ocean, land surface, cryosphere and biosphere. We can use the model results to estimate the consequences of further changes in our climate. Nevertheless, we don't know how to model precisely every physical, biogeochemical and societal process. Can we trust models to provide reliable data? How accurately do they represent the real world? Over time, modelers have improved the representation of processes with higher resolution and complexity, bringing increasing realism and relevance to the simulations. We have very big computers, but they are still not big enough to simulate an identical copy of Earth. Thus, simplifications are required. How we simplify the climate system is unique to each model. To estimate how much we can trust model simulations of the future, we compare models to real-world observations and we intercompare model simulations of the Earth's future climate. Climate scientists around the globe have been busy working on this problem for more than four decades. The coordination of this research is called the Coupled Model Intercomparison Project, or CMIP. CMIP started in 1995 organized by the World Climate Research Programme to coordinate the global climate modelling community. The purpose is to undertake a common set of climate simulations to obtain a multi-model perspective of climate change. This helps evaluate climate models, leads to improvements in the model simulations and provides a better understanding of past, present and future climates. One additional strength of CMIP lies in its global infrastructure, which has gathered the data and gives open access for a growing global research community. CMIP has grown from a modest scientific research initiative in the early 90s to become a global enterprise. More than 50 modeling centers around the world are participating in the sixth phase of CMIP, CMIP 6. Many hundreds of scientific papers have already been published and the results are taken into account for policy decisions. In the words of Gregory Flato, Vice Chair of the IPCC Working Group 1, CMIP 6 model results are a crucial part of IPCC assessment reports. They provide detailed information about the role of human activities in driving historical climate change. And they provide quantitative projections of future climate. Changes in climate extremes, such as the increased risks of heat waves or flooding in a warming world, have an enormous impact on people's lives. More and more, we need to address the global demand for climate science and information and support the most vulnerable nations and populations in dealing with climate change and variability. CMIP, bridging science and policy to meet the climate challenge.